All right, back with the 3DS related video. This time of an update to uh, Bootstrap and or TW Loader. This is um, recently worked on a uh, released uh, update to uh, Bootstrap that allows booting NDS games from SD. And I'll show you here. There's no card in the slot here. So not all games are functional yet, but save, read, and write was added, so that's why I am posting this update video to show that off. With, of course, a well-known game, Mar uh, Super Mario 64. While it takes a little bit longer than normal to load levels, it's fully playable now. As you can see here, no game. It's running completely off SD and, see, and save, read, and write is fully functional for the games that it's compatible with. For the most part, there might be some exceptions, but compatibility will only increase with time. Now, as you can see, loading takes a little bit, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to play through a level, get a star, save, then show off that it's saved. See what star am I gonna get this time? I think the quickest star I can get is um, Tall Top Mountain. Currently, I have 13 stars on this save file. As you can see, it does take a little bit to load scenes. The game doesn't lag, it's just it takes a little bit to load because SD. SD access has to occur via ARM 7, and that's a little slower than reading from uh, slot 1, which ARM 9 on. ARM 9 doesn't have access to uh, SD and NTR TWL mode. Show us some more optimizations, you might be able to speed it up a little bit more, but. Yeah, loading levels takes the longest amount of time, it appears. It does load, it's such a patient. Now with this particular star I selected, the only star I have to get is the one at the top of the tower.
God damn it, Mario, come on. Charles have always been terrible with this game. Yes, there is the touch game controls, but they're not that great either. I should have put a control stick on the uh, DS. I don't know why they never did that. A freaking PSP came around at the same time and it had control sticks. Control stick only acts as a virtual D-pad in DS mode on a 3DS, so don't think that you can actually emulate a control stick here because you'd have to modify TWL firm heavily to do that, if that's even possible. So now I have 14 stars. I'm going to save, then restart the game and show you that it's saved. This part lags for some reason. <laughs> Not all games behave like this. Mario's always been kind of slow with this. Each game might need their own optimizations. Depends. So now I'm going to quit out and restart it. I would edit out all the time it takes a load, but I just want, want to show the actual t uh, load times it takes to play Mario. Some games will run faster. Well, it seems to run reasonably fast, although I haven't tested it with the latest builds yet. It used to take quite a while. The initial builds used to take quite a while for this game to load. You can see, still no cartridge. As you can see, it's saved. It's now up to 14 stars. So there you go. Saving now working for most games that are compatible with uh, Bootstrap so far. Newer games might take a little more work. They have anti-piracy code and whatnot, especially maybe the Gen, the Gen 4 or Gen 5 Pokemon games. They may work eventually. Uh, Gen 5 might take longer because they're TD they they were on TWL cards and they have TWL code and maybe he will wait to properly implement that before actually making those games work. SD redirection of DSiWare is probably going to be doable too as well. He's probably going to save that for last once he's got compatibility at a reasonable place for most NTL games. DSiWare will be easier because they already use ARM7 to access NAND. You just have to patch ARM7 to read from SD instead. Maybe some minimal patching to ARM9. But DSI were probably relatively easy compared to the NTR games to patch for SD. So there you go. Working save file. Working saving. Now implemented in Bootstrap. Now so TWL loader has a new uh, boot logo. As you can see earlier. I forgot to mention that. And there you go.